Pablo, what went wrong in the second half? That's, that's a good question. Uh, you know, again, I, I think that we were in control of the game. Um, and then after the, uh, the, the first goal, and, and again, I, I think it's these, it's, 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 we, we had an opportunity to make plays on two, two or three different moments on that, on that first goal. But then after that first goal, it was almost like we switch off and start thinking about thinking so much about that moment that we're not dialed in for the next few moments. Um, and again, uh, the recent run of form hasn't been good enough. Um, and, and that is a confidence thing. And so you see some plays where you're scratching your head. Um, and, and a lot of that comes from uh, you know, a lack of confidence in the moment. And what we need at this moment is guys to step up and guys to really show their character and guys to really put the team on their back. Um, and you know, uh, th th we haven't had that. And, and again, I'm 100% responsible for all of it. What I just told the guys is the only way to win games is for each of you to be responsible when the game is playing, right? We can train, it looks great. But in these moments that the game throws curveballs at you, how do you stand up in the face of adversity and say, now it's my time, now it's my time? And, 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 and again, that's, that's the only way to affect results is on the field. Off the field, my responsibility. Training, my responsibility. But the game is made for the players. And, and what makes soccer unique than any other sport is that the coach's influence during the game is the least of any sport. And so the responsibility and the leadership on the field has to be such that in those moments, pull the guys together. A little, hey, focus here. This is an important moment. Can't affect it from the sidelines, right? And so, um, yeah. So we're obviously going through a real tough time. Uh, we've got five games left. We've got to win three, three of the five, probably. Um, and I know we can do it. There's no doubt in my mind that we can do it. Today, the game felt so under control. Dallas looked like they couldn't get near the ball. Um, but it was like three or four moments that just, that we we're just tuned off, tuned out and, and cost us the game. You had the one goal in the first half, but there were three, four, maybe five other chances. Should there have been a second goal in the first half so that it was completely different at halftime and the second half would have been played under completely different circumstances. Absolutely. I, you know, I've, I've been saying all along, goals change games and um, created some, so, some really good chances. Um, and and I, I think that always keeps the, it always gives your opponents a lifeline when you don't bury those chances. They feel like they can do it. Um, and, you know, I, you know, on a different day, maybe we have two. But even with one, we have to be professional enough to understand that the game is under our control. And so if this moment calls for us to get in a block and defend really well for three, four, five minutes, we've got to be professional enough to do that, right? And, 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 and at times, especially here at home, it's, it's six back and four up front. And in a game where you're winning 1-0, it should be eight back, two up front, right? And those little, those little nuances, are, are, are the difference. And, and, and when you see a team that's full of confidence, everyone is busting their tails, getting behind the ball, because this moment is really important here. And you don't know this moment is important until the ball's in the back of your net. And so again, it's a bit more sacrifice. It's a bit more leadership. Um, and, and it's really you know being responsible in, in moments where you think nothing's going to happen. Hey, Pablo. I appreciate your time tonight. Um, I know it's tough coming off of a loss. and. Um, uh, this, the team was on a really good run of form for quite some time. Um, then taking it back to when the Pablo uh, Ruiz injury occurred, the team has, has dropped uh, the six of the last seven games. However, you have outshot your opponent in each of the last five games. Um, do, you, do you find this, this poor run of form lately to be partially attributed to still trying to, to fill that gap and bridge the gap with the Pablo injury? Or is it just kind of a lack of, of quality opportunities in front of goal? Well, I think it's I, I think it's two different scenarios, right? I think when you're in a good run of form, there's confidence. Uh, Pablo was has been a huge attribute to what we've been doing going forward, um, and and our build, um, and and so, you know, trying to trying to get our wingers a little bit more inside to get you know feet on the ball that actually can make that final pass has been really important. And again, I don't think it's from a lack of creating opportunities. 
Uh, I just think we haven't been cl clinical enough in, in those moments. Um, and, 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 and so when you're, you know, and, uh, you know, I think Nelson's been doing a good job acclimating to the league. Um, and it, it, you're never going to replace Paul Ruiz, just like in any focal point of any team in any sport, you're not going to replace that. But what you're trying to do is trying to make up for his technical abilities. Um, and, and that's the way we found that, that, that's, that, that, that's the best, you know, mechanism, getting Saba inside, getting guys like Chang inside, getting, you know, Chicho running off back shoulders, um, outside backs getting forward, getting a lot of numbers in the box. And, um, you know, to this point, um, we haven't had much success. But, but again, it isn't from a lack of creating opportunities. It's, it's from a lack of, of really polishing, being the final polish. Um, but I'd say the bigger, the bigger problem is defensively. Uh, you know, 1-0 you, is more than enough to win a game. You don't, need, you don't need three goals to win a game. You need one. And then you've got to commit to the work defensively, um, to get behind the ball, to, to, to do all the graft work that no one likes to talk about, that doesn't show up on stats, but that makes a difference between winning and losing. And um, lastly for me, uh, a, a player that had done pretty well this season, played really well, Emeka and Nelly, uh, total of three game minutes over the last three games. Is this solely based on his, his recent run of play, um, or is it just kind of trying to get other guys in that same position? No, I, you know, I think moving Brody over to the right side, uh, and Oviedo coming into the group has kind of affected his playing time. Um, Brody, actually, obviously, he's been um, – a fantastic player for this group and, and, and getting guys in positions to where uh, we can feed better balls into those wingers that are inverted and also have a finish, have a crossing. We're getting great crossing opportunities. So putting Brody on the right and, and Oviate on the left for, for crossing opportunities. And obviously, um, Ameka is uh, he's a fantastic player and he's going to get his time and and you know more than likely he'll get a go this weekend but it's been nothing more than just getting Brody on the right side that's affected the Mecca's playing time Pablo gracias por tu tiempo mm. los goles que te hacen están siendo muy al centro eso indica que el relevo de los centrales no está funcionando el gol de Arriola y el gol que nos hicieron en San José, por ejemplo, han sido goles del punto penal prácticamente. ¿Y eso te preocupa? ¿Estás trabajando en eso? Sí, me preocupa, eh, especialmente porque tuvimos la oportunidad de bloquear el centro y la decisión del el, el, el central lejano tiene que tomar el, la, la, la decisión es siempre que debe marcar el jugador más peligroso. Así le da tiempo para la defensa que recupera. Y yo creo que en los últimos dos partidos hemos tenido problemas, uno, bloqueando el, el centro, y segundo, decidiendo cuál jugador es más peligroso en este momento. Y, y por eso la experiencia es muy importante y, y son cositas que trabajamos cada semana, pero en un partido, con la presión, con la con el ritmo del juego, ahora te, te, te hace otra pregunta, porque van dos y tenés que mirar y, y, y dividir cuál. Y son momentos que lo vamos a ver en el video, lo vamos a trabajar, pero eso se resuelva en, en la cancha. Porque si lo entrenamos en el entrenamiento, claro, no hay presión. Lo hacemos 20 veces y no hacen ni un centro. Y eso es la diferencia del entreno con un partido. Eh. De mi parte, la última. ¿Sientes que se te está yendo los playoffs porque ya estás a un punto del último lugar? Y la otra, Justin Glatt. Yo sé que nos ha dado alegrías y que es para mí uno de los mejores productos de la Academia de Real Soleil, pero ¿crees que no crees que está pasando por un momento complicado, que está cometiendo algunos errores y que nos están costando los resultados? Sí, yo creo que está pasando un, un tiempo difícil. Como todos los futbolistas, ¿no? Eh, hay años que las cosas no te salen como el año anterior, pero yo creo que el, 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 los errores son eh, errores sencillos. O sea, no, no, no es. No, nunca quiere hacer algo mal para afectar el grupo. Es un tipo sencillo, un, 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 
un jugador honesto, pero en este momento yo creo que eh, se está complicando las decisiones que está haciendo. O sea, si tiene un pase abierto sobre la derecha, intenta jugar en el medio. Y eso también, los jugadores en Europa sí lo, lo buscan, pero para, un, para mí, un central debe cumplir 99% de los pases. Los pases que no cumple son los que vamos para pa adelante para, para darle un poco de respiro de, de la presión del, del rival. Y, y eso, eso es un tema que hablamos en el medio tiempo, porque pa, pa, pasó en el primer tiempo dos o tres, tres veces donde jugamos al medio y eh, ahí querían hacer el, el, como el, 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 el lock el lock en el medio pero los costados siempre todo el éxito que tuvimos en el primer tiempo fue por los costados y lo hablamos pero como te digo los entrenamientos es un tema los partidos con presión y sin confianza es otro animal gracias Let's go the same direction. Zach, from your viewpoint, what went wrong in the second half? Um, just a little bit of not being ready in the right moment to, to kind of halt their momentum. Um, I think when they go 1-1, I think the PK is obviously unfortunate, a little bit soft. Um, and the third is a, is a, just an easy mistake that we, we gifted them. So uh, we need to be better in those moments, managing the game. I thought we really came out of the half playing pretty well. Um, but we've got to realize those important moments when they're on the attack that we need to get guys behind. and and make it harder for them. How much of the problems, not just tonight, but this kind of recent run of poor results here, how much of the problems are physical and how much do you think they're mental, psychological confidence issues? I don't think any of them are physical. I think it's all, you know, being in the moment, being ready, guys communicating, you know, guys helping each other out, making up for mistakes. Um, so yeah, definitely a psych psychological thing that we need to improve going into this last stretch where it obviously hasn't been good. Zach, thank you for your time and thanks for, um, for this opportunity. Uh, it, over the last run of a few games, uh, six of last seven I mentioned to Pablo have been losses, but over that streak, those same six of seven also have multiple goals allowed for the team. Um, you kind of touched on the communication and the back line. Um, do you feel that it's, it's kind of a trickle down effect from the midfield to the defenders and kind of a loss of communication at certain points? I don't necessarily think it's one part of the field. I think it's a, as a group, uh, we need to tighten it up, you know, working together, making the lines a little bit smaller. Um, obviously there should be communication from me all the way up to the front and back throughout the whole game, not just the beginning, not just when we're under it, not when we're just losing. That has to be something that we need to improve going into the last five games. Otherwise, we're going to continue leaking goals. Anything else for Zach?